Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about image stabilization. Now I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a bit dry. Sahara Desert Dry. Now you have been warned. We are going to be talking about Sony Steady Shot, which is the image stabilization that is within the RS100 cameras. Now how did this topic started? Now actually I was working in my other new channel which is called James's Vlogs which I cover all the other different topics and I wanted to shoot some content but I was thinking whether if I should on the steady shot it won't be able to shoot in 4K but it will have the image stabilized. There are basically four modes over here that is active in this stabilization namely artificial intelligence, active, standard and basically off. So I tried to search for YouTube to be able to find videos to be able to let me know what are the differences. But unfortunately, none of the videos are able to satisfy my knowledge. So I will be able to create this video dedicated to finding out the differences between the modes. So let's start with the very basics for all those who are new out there. What is image stabilization? Now, image stabilization is the camera's inbuilt ability to stabilize any video footages to make it less shaky and more watchable. It can also work for photography, but today we are mainly going to cover on the video aspects as the most of the content that I'm planning to work on is actually in the video format. So does image stabilization make a very big difference in terms of the footage? So here are two examples with and without stabilization. So after seeing these two footages, you can agree that the first footage makes you a little bit nauseous due to the motion, right? For me, I motion sickness, so watching too much of that will make me throw out. So for a start, let's talk about how you can be able to activate these functions in this RX100 camera. Okay, so let's take a closer look. So you want to go to the menu settings and look for steady shot, which is at the 8th section of uh, the settings itself. Now once you are here, you should be able to click on this and there will be these 4 different modes that is accessible. As you guys can see, it's not available because I'm actually recording in 4K. Now I'm going to down res it to 1080p so that the modes will be available. So now, all the 4 modes that we are talking about is now accessible. So now, you guys know how to have it turned on. Let me preface you before I show you the bulk of comparison footages on how this video is being shot. Now basically, I have my RX100 attached to my this uh, selfie port over here. Now if you don't already know, the new ZV-1 camera and this RX100 5 does not have a very wide field of view. So I will have to extend it. So I extended it to at least 2 segments long to be able to film the footages that you are about to see. So I'll be mainly talking about 3 types of different movements that I'll be capturing with this camera along with the stabilization. Number 1, walking. Number 2, running. And number three, walking up the flight of stairs. I figured these are the most commonly used uh, motions if you're planning to shoot vlogs or other video content. So let's start with the first set of walking footages. So now that you guys have seen these three different sets of footages, let's conclude and talk about whether if you have, should have it turned on or you should have it turned off. So in my opinion, if you have seen the footages, there's a very clear crop if you were to on it in the artificial intelligence. The camera basically crops in, in digitally 10% more than the usual footages. Now it won't matter a lot if you have a selfie pod such as this to be able to extend the reach, but if you're hand-holding, it's probably going to matter a lot to you. So unless you have an accessory such as this, to be able to extend the reach and be able to complement the field of view that's limited on your cameras, I would suggest to have it off or at most turn on to active. So I hope this video has given you clarification on how well the image stabilization works on the RX100 cameras. 
it did for me so at least now i will know whether what are the motions that i'm constrained to if i'm planning to use the stabilization anyways at the start i did mention that i have another channel which is called james's vlogs which i cover other topics that is non-photography or tech related my recent video i actually cover on how did i manage to get free products for this channel with less than 500 subs. Do also note that the flow of this channel is slightly different from this one as it's less scripted and probably more casual. If you're interested, check out the description below. Either ways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and ring the bell notification over here. If you are new to this channel and would like to find out more about this kind of photography topics. If you can't wait for my next video, do check out the playlist over here which I cover other photography topics that is really going to help you if you are doing content creation. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.